Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I'm going to tell you about base power series. For example, you have been given a series like this and you want to find out this series. The base is for example increasing by 1 and power remains the same. So like 1 power 2, 2 power 2, 3 power 2. So this is like a series. I don't know what mathematician call this type of series is, but I call them as base power series. The series could also be like this that uh, your base remains the same and your power is increasing by 1. And it could also be like this. Your base is increasing by 1 and your power is also increasing by 1. So both are increasing by 1. And then this series could also be like that. That your base is increasing by 1 while your power is increasing by 2 like 1, 3 and then 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13. The condition could be more difficult one like the base is increasing by 3 and power is increasing by 4 or it may be like the base is increasing by 10 and the power is increasing by like 20 etc etc there, there could be different kinds of series in this base power series. So thinking about such type of series I wrote a function to find such kind of series. The name of the function is like arsl.basepowerseries and it has four arguments like start b, start p, here b means the base, p means power and inc b by that is increase in base by, increase in power by and then the maximum result. For example, this is a series and you want to find out this series. The base is increasing by 1 and the power is increasing by 2. So what these arguments here mean in the function? The first argument means the starting base. As here in this series, we are starting the series with 1, with the base 1. That's why we will put here 1. Our starting power is also 1. You can change them. For example, your series could start from base 2, base 3 and your power could also be starting with 3, 5 or 7. And how much is it increasing? The base is increasing by 1. That's why you will put 1 here. And the power is increasing by 2, so here you will put 2. And the last argument in this function is the maximum result. This is like a breakup in the loop. So if you do not put here some condition like 100 or 200, etc., your this function will go on and on and on because it will be increasing the base and the power by 1 or by 2 or whatever you uh, put the condition. But it will not be stopping because you have not put any condition to stop this loop. So now let's test this function in our R. First, let me show you the, the code of this function. ARSL.basepowerseries. There are five arguments in the function and this is the code. You can type the code in your RStudio editor. And then after you type, just select the whole code with Control A and then Control Enter. Your function is then ready. So now let's test the function on one of the series given here. For example, this is a series. It starts with base of 1 and power of 1. So, arsl dot base power series or base is starting with 1 or power is starting with 1 or base is increasing is, incre is increasing by 1 or power is increasing by 2. Let's put the brick at 100. So, this is the series. Let's change the condition. Let's do not increase the the power power is not increasing and let's put the power as 2 the starting power so the starting power is 2 and it will not be increasing so it will remain the same while base is starting with 1 and it is increasing with 1 so now let's check so this is the result now let's change the result a bit more put the base as 2 and the power is 1 and base is not increasing that is put it as 0 so base remains the 2 and power is increasing by 1 now what would be the situation so the result will be like this now let's increase this breakpoint the condition now you will find more numbers in the series it will not reach 1000. Here it has stopped at 512 because the next number is more than 1000. That's why it stopped here at 512. 
as we have put the condition of 1000 this 1000 means that this function shouldn't go beyond 1000 the result shouldn't be beyond 1000 let's take one of the examples from here for example we have a uh, let's take this example the last example where our starting base and power are 1 so our starting base is 1 starting power is 1 and then our base is increasing by 3 and power by 4 so our base is increasing by 3 and our power is increasing by 4 let's find 1 and then let's increase this limit you will you will find two numbers and you can also increase this limit further increase it further increase it further and then again yes now we found three numbers in the series yes these are the three numbers if you have if you are starting with the base of one power one and your base is increasing by three and your power is increasing by four so it would be like this one power one four power five 7 power 9 and 10 power 13 and you are putting the condition of this that the maximum result shouldn't be beyond this one thank you for watching my video bye